the second aspect is samrakshana as the word says it is talking about protection how many of you have seen or how many of you know this man how many of you know this man anybody has recognized this man okay i see no responses which means people do not recognize him i'm sure the next person is very very recognizable right and now i would like to share the story of these two great leaders our country has ever seen one of the first satellites was to be launched in 1979 the slv3 was the satellite launching vehicle and what happened was very very interesting mission director was apj abdul kalam and they reached shri hari kota and satellite was all set to launch and before the countdown had begun a routine check was being conducted by the computer and what they saw is when the computer went on checking different stages of the satellite it recognized that there is some issue with the satellite launching vehicle so the computer said about the launch but abdul kalam took a decision and he went on to launch the vehicle and what happened was very very sad the satellite first stage was successful but in the second stage it went for a toss and the satellite instead of getting into the orbit fell into the bay of bengal thousands of crores of rupees had gone into drain and as we all expect press was already there ready to ask questions because all hard earned money had gone into the drain and then mr satish don comes and holds the meeting he backs the person who is the mission director and he says within a year we will prove in or we will be successful in putting the satellite into the orbit and within one year when the whole thing took up again the satellite got launched and it also reached the orbit india was successful in putting the satellite into the orbit and then satish dhawan came to abdul kalam and said now you go and hold the press conference that is the nature or that is the power of a leader when there is a failure leader is there to protect the team and when there is a success he gives it to the team this is what we call as samrakshan and by doing this he also was successful in nurturing a new generation leader and that is what we all expect in the present generation leaders and samrakshana refers to not just protection of the employees or subordinates it includes guardianship patronage mentoring and hand holding of course i also understand if you are not confident about your own team members definitely you will not be in a position to protect them that is why i have included these aspects that you have to be a guardian for them you have to mentor them unless you train them unless you make them skillful definitely you will not be able to back them that's why when you include all these aspects that's when you can really be a leader who exercises samrakshan and these are some of the desirable traits in a leader if we have to have it in us then we should come out of the insecurity that we carry when i interact with so many leaders who are in executive positions in companies what i see is most of them are threatened most of them are in the competition of protecting their own seats the moment we are having that security about our performance security about ourselves that's when you can actually nurture new generation leaders this requires diving deeper into oneself unless you address the insecurities that you are carrying within yourself you will not be able to do whatever we talk in terms of samrakshan